What's up, credit family? It's your boy, Mr. Credit Banking, and I am back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Credit One Bank. You know, I just had one of my subscribers just ask me about Credit One Bank and you know, what I think about it. Do I recommend them? Have I used them before? And um, so I'm making this video to basically get back to them about Credit One Bank. Guys, I've used, um, I've had a Credit One Bank credit card before and it was, <laughs> wow, I, I have to say it's, it was the worst, the worst credit card I've ever had, you know, in my credit history. I've had, I had this credit card uh, maybe 10 years ago, um, right after my um, BK. Um, in fact, it was the first credit card I got after my BK. Um, right after my BK, you know, um, my credit was, I guess, cleaned up, but, you know, it was a BK. And they were the first credit card company that reached out to me. And in my, I guess in my, I, I was desperate at the time to get back into the credit card game. And they were the first company that reached out to me and I got that card. And I regret it. <laughs> wow, that card was horrible. Um, you know, I, I purchased some stuff on it, you know, and I, you know, just got out of a BK. So I said, hey, I'm going to be responsible now. This is my fresh start. And I would, you know, buy stuff on it. And every month I would pay it off. And what I would see, I would pay it off. And the next month there would just be fees on there. And I'm going to like, why am I getting fees? I, you know, in less than 30 days, I, I bought and paid off the um, whatever I used the credit card for. But, you know, I call up uh, uh, Credit One and say, hey, what's going on? I shouldn't be charged any type of fee or any interest rate or anything like that. And... <laughs> These guys are something else. They were charging me interest rate on the day I um, I purchased the the item, which I didn't know. Shame on me. And, okay, I said, fine. I got that, you know, I got it all paid off and blah, blah, blah. I talked to them. I understand it. I'm not going to use that credit card anymore. So I stopped using it. Then, still, the next month, there was a charge on there. I'm going like, what's going on? Why is there still a charge? I don't use the credit card anymore. So they can't be charging me interest. I call them up again. And they said, well, it's your annual um, fee. Uh, we broke it down into monthly charges. So we're charging you monthly for your annual fee. And I'm like, this is crazy. Cancel this card. I know I'm new to the credit game. This is not making any sense to me. I'm paying and paying and paying for something that I'm not using. I don't see the benefit of you. Know, I need this card to cancel. And they would not let me cancel it. They pass me around. They try to talk me out of it. They do not want me to cancel their card. And I told them, hey, guys, I, I'm going to sue you guys. I, I'm going to take some type of legal action against you guys if you guys don't cancel this credit card. I want this credit card canceled. I don't see any benefit of getting this card. You guys are charging me interest as soon as I, um, I uh, purchase something. Um, you guys are charging me you know, this monthly fee that's actually the annual fee. I mean, it, this is crazy. And guys, keep in mind, I don't know if they still do this now, but this was like 10 years ago after my BK. But the bottom line, I, um, I canceled that car because I, I didn't see any benefit for it. And I actually ended up getting um, the Capital One card. After I canceled the Credit One card, I, cap, um, I actually went out and got that Capital One card. And the crazy thing, at first I, I goes, this is weird. It looks just like the Credit One card. And I'm like, I was kind of confused. I was like hesitant to get the Capital One because I thought maybe it was the Credit One card. And I think that's one of the little tricks that um, Credit One does. They disguise themselves as um, Capital One and they get, you know, suckers like me who are new to the game to sign up for their credit card that is, in, in my opinion, is completely uh, worthless and very predatory. Um, you know, if, if you're, you're just starting out in the credit game, I recommend you get the Capital One card. Um, I, right after my um, BK and after canceling my um, Credit One card, I end up getting my uh, a Capital One card. And I've, I still have that, um, that Capital One card that I got years and years. In fact, now I have two um, Capital One cards. So, um, guys, I don't, I mean, I'm sure it, it works for somebody out there. But personally, I do not recommend you ever getting a cap. Excuse me, a credit one um, credit card. I think they're taking advantage of people out there who are down and out on their luck. The limits are very low, 
and they charge a lot of fees and stuff like that. It seems like they're charging you for everything that they're doing for you. There's a charge for it. And especially when you're down and out on your luck, you're just starting off. I don't think people should be taking advantage of you. I think, you know, um, Capital One is a better option than Credit One. So I recommend um, um, Capital One for people who are starting out in the credit game. In fact, I recommend um, Capital One and Discovery, two really good banks that can help you out, that most people can qualify for when you're starting out on your um, credit game. Um, they have a lot of really good products. They have secured credit cards and unsecured credit cards. So those are two banks I think is a whole lot better than starting out with Credit One. So that's all I have for today. Um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Mr. Credit Banking out. Peace.